even to speak to those whose fire had gone out. I mean, completely gone out. I have for you a word of encouragement and a word of warning. A word of encouragement because God is able and willing to rekindle your fire. Remember Samson. In Judges chapter 16 verse 22. After the enemy had plucked out his eyes. After they had put him in prison. Because his fire went out. The Bible says the hair on his head began to grow again. Whoever is the Samson that is here today. That fellow who used to hear from God. That fellow who used to be mightily used of God. That fellow who is aware that the fire is gone. I have good news for you. Samson, your hair will grow again. God is more than able to rekindle the fire that had gone out. Because according to Ezekiel 37 verse 1 to 10, he could even breathe on dry bones. And the dry bones can live again. However, I have a warning for you. I have a warning for you that after the almighty God has rekindled your fire, you must remember to watch out and beware of those things that put out the fire originally. Retrace your steps. Find out where you fell. Remember those things that creeped upon you little by little that put out the fire of God in you and avoid them like a plague. There are things that the Almighty God said we were to resist. He said in his word we are to resist the devil. But when it comes to useful loss, he didn't ask you to resist, he asked you to flee. There are things you must run away from, great man of God, great woman of God. There are times to stand and fight. There are times to run. Pay attention to the word of the living God. Remember that if you are to get your fire back again, you have to repent, you have to confess, you have to forsake the Bible says in Proverbs 28 verse 13, Proverbs 28 verse 13, it says, He that concealeth his things shall not prosper, but he that confesseth and forsaketh them shall obtain mercy. You must be willing to restitute your ways. You must be willing to repair the altar of the living God. And then you can go back to the Almighty God and say, Father, Give me a second chance. Kindle my fire again. The Almighty God is saying to every one of us tonight, loud and clear, the fire must never go out.